Is it, it okay if I'm the same? I'm catching feelings from all the dealings. Am I astray? What do you say? How are you feeling? Is it the same? Good morning, you beautiful people. How are you today? Welcome to my What I Eat in a Day. This morning, I have an appointment to go to, so I'm up early and I just like. I'm dead <laughs> you know what I mean like I'm just dead I feel like I look a mess it's whatever um I don't feel like cooking breakfast so I'm about to head to Starbucks get a little cold brew and get a little breakfast sandwich cuz I'm hungry I need some coffee in my system to wake me up and that's that so I got my Starbucks it's good. So I just got my Starbucks. I got a breakfast sandwich because I'm starving. And I'm pissed because I usually get the, what is it, like turkey egg white sandwich. They were sold out of it. So I got the bacon Gouda. And that was like 300 calories, 350 calories. The one I usually get is like 240 calories. So I'm like, it's whatever though. I got the bacon Gouda. And I got my cold brew. I got a grande cold brew with two pumps of sugar-free vanilla, two pumps of caramel, and a splash of half and half um, cream. Half and half. But yeah, it's what I got. This drink is like 70 calories. And it's one of my go-tos. I've actually been making my own cold brew at home. But I haven't made a new batch. So I'm like, yeah, no, I'm going to Starbucks. Because ain't nobody got time for that. You know what I mean? And yeah, I just need something to wake me up. This is the bacon gouda, I guess. I never had this before. Let's try it. I like it. Hmm. Sandwich is pretty small, and I feel like I could have made a nicer, bigger sandwich at home for less calories, but it's okay. I don't have any time this morning. Let me hurry up and eat this. I have like a 30 minute drive ahead of me and I just needed a little something because I was not going to make it. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that you guys are having an amazing day today. I hope your day is filled with love and positivity and I will see you guys for lunch. So it's officially lunchtime and we're going to be making some burger salads, salad burgers burger salads some burger salads um i'm like obsessed with this i have it like once a week like i don't know what it is like i just like i'm just obsessed it's so filling and i just really really love it it has all my favorite things so let's just get started let me show you guys the burgers that we're going to be using we're going to be using the bubba grass-fed burgers and they're 240 calories per patty so since it's in i usually make this in my air fryer grill but it's a really really nice day out today so i'm gonna go out and actually make it on the grill just the burgers because like everything else is easy like i'm just making a salad so i just have to cut some lettuce tomatoes onions pickles you know you know the whole nine so we about to go outside and grill these burgers hey guys so i'm out here about to grill my burgers I hope you guys can hear me. So I just put these patties on the grill just now. I got some friends over, so I'm making some burgers for them too. But you know, we on a, a healthy lifestyle, so I'm not gonna be having bread and stuff on my burger. So I'm just gonna cook up the burgers. I'm actually going to add my seasonings now. I got some salt. And then I'm going to add some pepper. And some Montreal steak seasoning. So I have my lettuce here. I just washed it up. I'm adding my lettuce in. So I got some lettuce. I'm gonna add tomatoes, some onions. I actually have a pick one pickle that I'm cutting in half.
here's how the burgers are looking I'm gonna add some cheddar cheese on top and it's 80 calories for one slice So it's all done. I'm going to add some spicy brown mustard on top. So I just added some spicy brown mustard and some ketchup on top. And here it is. Oh, let's get in the sun. Hold on. And here it is. It looks so good. All right. So here's my beautiful burger salad. When I tell you I'm obsessed with this, I'm obsessed with this. Another thing that I like to add on to the salad is avocado. I just didn't have any today, which is really like... I'm really sad about it but avocado on this is fire we about to dive in a little bit of my pickle mm, every time i make this it hits every single time when i tell you like this is my favorite thing ever this salad always fills me up every time like without doubt you get like so much volume it's like a lot of food for like less than 500 calories like i feel like like you can't ask for anything more like <laughs> that was amazing so it's dinner time and we are making some chicken some cheesy asparagus it's a whole moment so the chicken that i'm going to be using is from crowd cow and crowd cow is actually today's sponsor so shout out to them for sponsoring today's video let's take a little moment for a little sponsorship thank you to crowd cow for sponsoring today's video crowd cow is a website where you can get high quality meats from local farmers all you have to do is go on their website and you can either pick a box or build a box and explore and shop through their high quality beef, pork, chicken, seafood, and a lot more options. One thing I really like about their website is you could type in your zip code and you could see what local farms your meat is actually coming from. Crowd Cow makes sure that all their meat has no growth hormones or unnecessary antibiotics. Crowd Cow is offering $100 of free meat and free shipping once you sign up and order with my link down below in the description. And you could also become a member for free and save an extra 5% off of everything you put in your box. Make sure to take advantage of this offer because I don't know how long it's going to be around for. But let me show you guys what I ended up getting from them. So Crowd Cow sent me two beef New York strip steaks. Here they are other one and they also sent me some sockeye salmon and this one is six ounces I like that it tells you how many so you don't have to weigh it and also some no sugar added uncured smoked bacon that has no nitrate it's gluten free lactose free no antibiotics vegetarian fed seems pretty good and it's 30 calories for a slice so about 60 for two we got some wild caught shrimp here. And they look like they're a pretty good size shrimp. So I'm excited to eat that because y'all know I love my shrimp. Then we got some chicken. This is what we're going to be making for dinner today. So here's the chicken here marinating. I used salt, pepper, garlic, garlic and herb, and some adobo seasoning just to season it up. You know, something light, something light. And I'm about to start with the asparagus. We got some asparagus that we about to prep to get ready to go under the oven because I'm going to roast it for a little bit. Bake at 400. And let that preheat. And I'm going to prep the asparagus. I'm just going to cover my pan with some aluminum foil. And I'm about to camera down some more. I just finished washing the asparagus off and I'm just going to be snapping the bottom. So I'm adding my asparagus now. I did Instacart and they picked out the most skinniest asparagus ever. I don't know what's going on. Like I usually pick like medium to large but it's cool. We're still going to make it work. I'm so excited to make this dish because I've never made it before and I always see it on Pinterest and it looks so good. So... Hopefully it turns out good. I think it will. I'm just gonna spray this with some olive oil spray. 
And I'm going to add my seasonings. Adding some garlic powder. Salt. Some garlic and herb. And a little bit of pepper. A little bit more garlic powder. <laughs> Y'all know I love garlic powder. Let's go mix it up. Here's the asparagus. And I'm gonna add that into the oven now. I'm gonna leave that in for like, I would say like five to eight minutes and check on it to see how it is. The chicken is all marinated and it's looking good and I'm about to cook it. Add a little bit of oil. And add some chicken. We got our asparagus. I'm gonna add the cheese. Chicken's all done. So is the asparagus. This looks so good. That looks so good. So here's my dinner. Got some grilled chicken and some asparagus with cheese. It looks so good. I'm excited to eat. <laughs> so I got my dinner here and I'm about to do a taste test. I've never ate this cheesy asparagus before, so I'm intrigued to see what it's gonna taste like. So cheesy. Got that with a bite of chicken. <laughs> My best friend's here too. Because I made dinner for both of us and she's laughing at me right now. Alright, ready? Let's see what this tastes like. The why is this fire? You guys, it's really good. Cheese makes vegetables ten times better. <laughs> no lie. I was a little skeptical about putting cheese on asparagus just because I didn't know how the flavors were going to like work with each other, but they actually work really well and it tastes really good and this is a nice low calorie meal, low carb, like if you're keto you could definitely have this. I just finished, that was amazing, that chicken from Crod Cow was juicy and just delectable, I loved it. I am exhausted, I had such a long day, I've been doing a whole lot of running around today and I still managed to eat at home which I'm happy about because I know like when I have like a really busy day like it's just so much easier to order out and I'm trying so hard to like stop and just make time to like eat at home instead of eating out because it's really hard to like calculate how many calories that is and then on top of that like 
they just add too many extra oils and stuff and i just don't need to be doing that like i'm perfectly capable of cooking obviously so i'm trying to like discipline myself and make myself cook more at home but yeah i'm really really impressed with how this knitter came out i didn't think it was gonna come out this good but it did and it just tasted a fire so and lunch was also really good i enjoyed every single meal like thoroughly everything was really good i highly recommend you try them out because they were awesome um make sure you take advantage of that crowd cow offer the link will be down below but yeah i hope you're subscribed if you're not make sure you press that red button down below and thumbs up this video if you enjoy it let me know what meals you guys would like to see let me know what videos you guys would like to see and yeah I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, guys.